I'll quickly show you how to apply manual lens correction profiles in Affinity Photo. Normally, lens corrections are applied automatically, but you may have used a manual lens with no electronic contacts, and therefore it has no way of passing lens info to the camera so it can be recorded in the image metadata. In this scenario, if you are developing from a RAW file, you can move across to the Lens panel within the Develop Persona. I'll click into the Lens Profile list here, and I can then perform a search to narrow down the lens list. For this image, I'll type Samyang, and I want to pick Samyang 35mm f1.4 AS UMC. As soon as I click it, the relevant corrections will be applied to the image. Then I can just use Escape to close the lens list. You can easily preview the image without the corrections by unchecking the Lens Profile option here, then I can check it to apply the corrections again. Bear in mind that with wider angle lens corrections, you may also be able to reduce the scale here. For example, if I bring it down to 98%, we will start to see alpha areas at the top and bottom of the image. But going up to 99% hides these, whilst still giving me slightly more image detail compared to 100%. Then I can apply any other adjustments to the raw image and develop it. Now you might be in a position where you only work with out-of-camera JPEGs rather than RAW files. In this case, you can manually apply a lens correction profile as a filter. So I'll go to Filters, Distort, Lens Correction. And on the dialog here, I can specify both the camera and the lens. Setting the appropriate camera will narrow down the lens list. So I'll find my camera here, the Olympus EM1 Mark III. Then I'll find the lens used for this shot, the Venus Lauer 7.5mm f2.0 ultra wide. If your manual lens is a zoom lens, you can also specify the focal length here. But for prime lenses, you don't need to worry about this option. There is not much correction needed for this lens, but you can compare the before and after result using the split preview option on the dialog. I'll toggle it back to no split view, then click apply to commit the lens correction. And there we go. That is how to apply manual lens corrections, both when developing raw files and when working with bitmapped image data, such as out of camera JPEGs. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.